Jubilee kwa utawala sio? Sababu ya kwanza nimeambia nyinyi mama gharama ya maisha. Sio? Uchumi liko kwa jumla ambayo imepromoka, sio? Ya pili ni mambo ya ufisadi. Ufisadi. Wizi ya mali ya umma. Kila single shilingi moja jubilee wametumia kwa maendeleo moja inaenda kwa mfuko ya mtu watu binafsi. Out of every shilling spent in for development, one shilling is stolen by jubilee officials. Si unaona hiyo? Na wakiiba wanakwenda kukopa. Wakiiba wanakwenda kukopa. Watakuja hapa atambia nyinyi ya kwamba hii barabara ya Kakamega na Webuye alitumetenga tumetenga bilion tano kwa hii barabara hiyo bilion tano mbili na mnusu peke yake ndio itaingia kwa hiyo kazi hii nyingine inakuliwa na hao watu ufisadi ya jubilee itapromosha uchumi wetu sasa ile shirika ya ulimwengu inaitwa Transparency International ambayo inaangalia mambo ya ufisadi ulimwengu mzima nimeweka Kenya kama namba tatu kwa nchi ambayo kuna ofisadi vingi zaidi. Kenya na Cheka katika Super League ya ofisadi. Premier League. Premier League. Inacheza na mabingwa kama Nicaragua, Bangladesh, Cameroon, Democratic DRC Congo na kadhalika. Kwa mambo ya ofisadi jirani wetu hapa hapa Tanzania Magufuli amefafisha ufisadi Sasa Tanzania ni namba tatu kwa uchumi zile ambazo zinaendelea kwa kasi zaidi kwa haraka zaidi The third most uh, uh, fastest growing economies in the world Tanzania na India namba tatu Namba moja ni Ethiopia Tutachukua ile kipagio ya ufisadi kwa Magufuli na kufagia hapa yote hii. Sababu ya tatu ukosefu ya kazi kwa vijana. Vijana wengi hawana kazi. Wanahangaika tu kwa barabara, wamemaliza mashomo, alisema vizuri kuanzia shule ya upili, kuanzia shule ya msingi, shule ya upili ngine kaenda hata kwa chuki kuu akitoka ana shahada lakini hakuna kazi kazi iongee tisho iongee sio lakini sasa unasikia wanasema ati wazalisha kazi milioni sita na laki tano kama hawakuweza hata hata laki tano peke yake wata milioni sita tunapata wapi hiyo ni porojo. Ahadi ya jubi sasa wanaahidi vijana kazi. Wanaahidi vijana ati watapandua mambo ya, 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 ya elimu. Ahadi ya jubi ni kama kunyamba kwa punda. Hakuna kitu wajibu wanafanya mpya ambaye wajafanya kwa hiyo ya yote wamekuwa pale. Hakuna kitu mpya watafanya. Imeshawashinda, si imewashinda? Si imewashinda? Sisi tumesema tukishika. Hapa Kakamega tutajenga industrial parks. Ndio parks tutajenga hapa. Pale ambapo kulikuwa na mitambo na vifaa vya kufanya kazi. Na mafunzo itakuwa pale kwa vijana ili wana wa, wa, ustadi ya kufanya kazi na pesa watapata ya kuanzisha kazi hiyo tunachukua mfano nchi ya Malaysia kule Uchina kule India ambayo wako ni mabilioni ya watu lakini hakuna watu ambao wanahangaika bila kazi sasa hiyo itatoa ajira kwa vijana itameza vijana wote ambao wako katika barabara na waingie kwa kazi sasa hiyo itasaidia vijana. Sasa ili 
vijana wetu badala ya kuangaika kama a jobless na watu ambao wanatafuta kazi watakuwa job creators watakuwa watu ambao wanaajiri watu so vile vile tumesema wazee tuwapatie rupurupu wapatie wazee rupurupu ili wawe na kitu ambao wanaweza kumudu naye maisha na wale vile vile tutakuweka bima ya afya kwa wazee ili kama wako wagonjwa wanapata matibabu bila pesa bila malipo yote bure sawa sawa alafu kuna kikundi ya kina mama wale wanaitwa wazimama na wazazi ambao hawana mabwana single parent mothers hawa mama wanateseka sana labda bwana alifariki au waliwachana na bwana au walipata tu mtoto sio ye ye ndio ni mama tena ni baba ya huyu mtoto mtoto yake so yule wengine anaona na bwana kama bwana amemtaliki bibi kesho amepata bibi nyingine sio maisha yanaendelea kawaida lakini huyo mama amebaki yao na watoto hakuna mwanaume anataka kuchukua bibi ambaye kuna watoto wa mtu mwingine anaambia watoto washe huko kuja peke yako na mama hataki kuwaja watoto yake sio tutataweka pesa maalum ya kusaidia wao kina mama wafanye biashara na kupata riziki sawa so, kwa pande nyingine sisi tunasema kwa elimu kuanzia mwezi ujao septemba watoto wetu wote kuanzia nasari hadi form 4 tunasema bure bila malipo yote ya karo na sio karo peke yake kila kitu tumetoa kwa mgongo ya wazazi tumeweka kwa serikali sawa nikitaja kitu zamani serikali kalamu kitabu uniform desk maziwa mshara wa walimu mtoto kazi yake tu ni kutoka nyumbani kuingia kwa darasa na kupata mafunzo sawa 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 hayo ni ahadi ya ya NASA si ya jubilee sawa sawa vijana kwa vijana mko tayari sasa neno langu la mwisho ni kuhimiza nyinyi NASA presidential flag bearer there Rilo Dinga addressing voters in Kakamega County trying to drum up support even as the elections are just around the corner 5 days to the elections and some of the issues he is preaching to the people down in Buhungu Stadium include um, improving the livelihoods through the elderly cash transfer program which he's talked about. He's also mentioned another interesting aspect around constructing an industrial park that will be able to stimulate economic activity in that particular region of Kenya. And of course, the NASA Brigade will be touring other places, including Busia, as well as Kisumu, where they'll be addressing their supporters just a few days to the general elections. And we continue to keep our eyes on those developing stories. And of course, we shall be updating you as we move on here on Kivumbu.